Now to a development in the fight to keep the Simon Fraser University football program alive. It was scrapped earlier this month. Today, players past and present filed a lawsuit and are seeking an injunction demanding SFU reinstate the program. CTV's Ben Nesbitt has more. Taking their fight from the field to the courthouse. I hope that we can just get justice. Dozens of current SFU players as well as alumni gathered at BC Supreme Court in Vancouver Thursday. The group coming together after filing for an injunction to stop the football program from being shut down. We hope that now that the university realizes the consequences of its decision, that we'll be able to resolve this so the team can play as planned. Five current players are listed on the court filing, which alleges breach of contract by SFU. These players all came to SFU based on promises, commitments from SFU, its athletic department, that they would play football and get a great education. SFU had been competing in the NCAA's Lone Star Conference for the past few years, but was notified it wouldn't be welcome after the 2023 season. The university says despite its best efforts to find a solution, it was unsuccessful. Obviously none of us signed up to play for two years and then have the program be completely cut. You know, we all thought that we would finish our careers out here. U Sports, the governing body for Canadian University Athletics, tells CTV News that SFU reached out once to ask if the regulations for membership had changed since they left for the NCAA, but ultimately it did not submit an application. I have not seen a process like this happen in 30 years with zero consultation uh, with the stakeholders, whether it's the alumni, whether it's the players, whether it's the coaches. SFU tells us it is aware of the legal action and says it will review and consider its next steps. The university has 21 days to respond to the claim. Ben Nesbitt, CTV News, Vancouver.